Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, Amanda Loves Perfume, and I have another guest with me today. This is my daughter, Mary Catherine, and we are gonna be reviewing her signature scent, which is Flower Bomb Nectar. Um, so, do you wanna introduce yourself? Say hi. Hi, I'm Mary Catherine. Okay, so why don't you tell them a little bit about how you found this fragrance and why you love it so much, and then we're gonna talk about the fragrance and then we're going to talk about the regular flower bomb as well. Um, I needed a new perfume and I was at Sephora and I guess I really liked the bottle. Mm -hmm. and it's so pretty. I just loved it and I wanted it immediately. Okay. Yeah. I remember she called me from um, Sephora and told me that she loved this fragrance but I only let you get the travel size I think I remember at the time. And then I got her the full bottle for her birthday back in June. So, um, I also, I own Flower Bomb, the original Flower Bomb. Mary Catherine has lost her cap already. So, I put my cap on hers just to make it look prettier, but this is my Flower Bomb. Okay, so, I'm going to start with the regular original Flower Bomb. Um, it was made in 2005. It's an oriental fragrance, which I guess I get. Um, it's got top notes of bergamot and green tea, the heart is intensive, sweet, and pure sandback jasmine, um, seductive rose, freesia, orchid, musk and patchouli in the base, wrap us with an oriental scent, milky and powdery notes um, at the bottom. So the original Flower Bomb is one of my absolute favorite fragrances in the world. I think that every woman should have Flower Bomb. Is that my note card? Mm -hmm. I usually have old note cards for mm -hmm. um Flower Bomb is just a beautiful fragrance. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It's sweet. Smell. Do you like the original one? Mm -hmm. You don't? Is mm -hmm. it too? I like mine because it's flowery. Yeah, flower. The original Flower Bomb. It's sweeter. Even though it's uh, even though it's called Flower Bomb, it really doesn't have a lot of flowers in it. To me, this smells like sweet patchouli. That's exactly right. like sugary sweet patchouli. Um. And I am not a huge patchouli fan, but I love the patchouli and Flower Bomb. It's my absolute favorite, and this fragrance is just absolutely gorgeous. So that's the original Flower Bomb. So then, Flower Bomb Nectar. I have that one on here too. Okay, Flower Bomb Nectar opens with an unusual and explosive note of gunpowder accord. So that's what's supposed to be kind of like cool and edgy about this one is that it has gunpowder in it, which I definitely smell the metallic. Do you smell the metallic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It definitely has a really cool opening. Um, okay, so flower bomb nectar. Explosive note of gunpowder accord that brings a freshness and slightly metallic feel. It features floral syrup in its heart. Made of notes, orange blossom, jasmine, osmanthus. Dries down to benzoin, vanilla, and tonka bean. It's made to be an intense scent for the evening, more intimate and mysterious than the original. But Mary Catherine wears it every day, all day, all seasons. And this actually, even though it's a very sweet, heavy fragrance, smells amazing even in the summer when she wears it. Um, this is much, much, much sweeter than the original Flower Bomb. Um, it is like syrupy, syrupy, syrupy sweet, but it's got that gunmetal. So to me, this is like if you sweetened up Flower Bomb and put Flower Bomb in a leather jacket with like... A lot of metal on the leather jacket like heavy zippers and like maybe things some sort of metal things hanging off of it to me it's the regular one mixed with like Prada candy yeah this almost it's smells like, like candy um, it's very very syrupy very sweet there's really not the patchouli note in this one and I don't even see I don't think it has patchouli at all because it says the base is benzoin vanilla and tonka bean you can definitely smell the vanilla I mean, you can definitely smell the tonka bean in the metal. This is just a very, 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 very beautiful, unique fragrance. It's very girly. It's very date night, flirty, dare I say sexy, even though this is what you wear. It's just a much more, much more playful version of the original Flower Bomb. Um, I think it's perfect for younger girls. I don't know that this is really that great for anyone maybe over 30. It's just a little too 
playful. Um, it's a little too sweet in my opinion. The original Flower Bomb is way better, I think, for like women over 30. But I know a lot of young girls wear the original Flower Bomb too. So um, both of these are just, I, I will say that, who who made this one? I know Olive, Olivier, Olivier, let's see, wait. Olivier Polge made the original one. I feel like maybe, who made this one? Oh, it doesn't say, it was launched in 2018. It's not, it's not telling me who the perfume, who the nose is behind this, but um, I recommend both of these. This is like Flower Bomb's little fun flirty sister, um, and the original is wonderful as well. So you didn't say very much. Do you have anything else to say about? This is basically the only fragrance she wears. She has worn. What other perfumes have you worn? You've worn Pink Sugar for a long time. Um, yeah. I mean, when I was little, I wore like. Ariana Grande and like Justin Bieber, but now I'm just like <laughs> Justin Bieber. Yeah. Um, you still wear Ariana Grande. You wear Cloud. You oh she wore so she wore Pink Sugar for a couple years. Then you wore she wore Ariana Grande Cloud for probably a year, at least a year or two. And it just was too sweet, so I wanted to dial down, but well, still be sweet. This is really sweet. You think Cloud is more sweet than this? Oh my goodness. Okay. But so, I get a lot of compliments on this yeah this is definitely a compliment getter number one because it's just it's extremely strong and it's just a very pleasant smell and it doesn't it does not smell don't get me wrong it doesn't smell metallic it's just got a little bit like of an edge to it that adds a little bit of like a it's not just straight sugar yeah it gives it like a little bit of a cut through the sugar a little bit and makes it very cool yeah this is like a cool chick that's wearing a really sexy expensive leather jacket with some metal on it would you agree and maybe eating candy or chewing sweet bubble gum or something like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this review thank you to my daughter for being on this video with me and i will see you guys on the next video